China was billed as the ninth wonder of the world and rightly so. A trailblazer for women's wrestling in an era when all it took to be hired by the WWE was to have huge boobs and be willing to flash them whenever Vince McMahon needed to get his jollies off, China paved the way for the next generation, headlined by Trish Stratus and Lita. Yet, even though she has been inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame as part of DX, a solo appearance hasn't happened, but why? The fact is, there are as many reasons as to why she should be in there by herself as there are as to why she shouldn't. So that's why we think we need to talk about China. Why China should be in the Hall of Fame. China was a phenomenon unlike any other we had seen before or since in the WWE. When she initially appeared alongside DX, her job was to stand around and look intimidating while occasionally laying a hurt on someone, and she did that to perfection. She was built like the proverbial outhouse and, at least at first, didn't utter a word. Then, as the DX phenomenon took off, she became more active in what was happening with the group. She was never going to take away any of the shine from Triple H and HBK, but she showed that she had a sense of humour that could match them. Some of her greatest moments, in our mind at least, were when she'd simply roll her eyes at her boys doing something unbelievably childish, and on more than one occasion, she could be seen visibly struggling to hold it together as the antics of Triple H and HBK threatened to get out of control. She could also hold her own when it came down to it as well. How many times did she lay a beating on Mark Henry when he tried to force himself upon her in the storyline between DX and the Nation of Domination? Or how about when she entered the 1999 Royal Rumble at number 30, becoming the first ever woman to compete in that match, before slapping the world's strongest man around for a bit and then dumping him over the top rope? Sure, she didn't survive much longer after that, but she'd already set herself up as a force to be reckoned with in both the male and female divisions. It comes as somewhat of a surprise that China only ever held the Women's Championship once, but what does that matter when she held the Intercontinental Championship twice? A lot of people looked down on a good housekeeping match with Jeff Jarrett, which saw her claim her first reign as IC champion, but not us, we love it. Let's not forget, this was a time when Double J was hated both on screen and off, so to watch China wail on him with everything including the kitchen sink, and take the gold belt while Jarrett skulked away to WCW was a joy to behold. And let us not forget, she would go on to feud with Chris Jericho over the strap and beat him at Survivor Series that same year. Sure, there would be plenty of shenanigans along the way to her finally losing the title for good, including a triple threat match with Y2J and Hardcore Holly that is, if nothing else, a curiosity to watch on the WWE Network, but from a debut in the company in 1997 to her leaving in 2001 under a cloud, China was the woman within the WWE and would inspire a generation of young girls and women to try their hands at pro wrestling. Why China isn't in the Hall of Fame? Horn, it's really that simple. We've heard a lot of people say that the reasons that China isn't in the WWE Hall of Fame range from a relationship with Triple H deteriorating because of his relationship behind her back with Stephanie McMahon, to the drug use that led her to her untimely death in 2016, but those don't stand up under scrutiny. There have been enough wrestlers who have been involved with each other for it to end acrimoniously, and they've still found their way into the Hall of Fame, so that can't play a part here. And there sure are enough of them in there who have had substance abuse problems that they've either defeated or been defeated by for that explanation to hold no water. The fact is that when China finally quit wrestling and either gave up on her acting work or couldn't find work anymore, she turned to the adult industry and that is a huge no-no for a public trading company. Yes, we all know that Sunny did a few movies, but that was after her induction. Unfortunately for China, she chose to go that route before she'd even been mentioned as being part of the Hall of Fame, and that choice has, to this day, put a permanent black mark against her name. After all, if she'd been inducted while she was still alive, it would be almost impossible to explain to the kids what China had been doing since she'd hung up her boots for good. So should China be in the Hall of Fame? Yes, of course she should. No matter what happened to China after she left the WWE, and no matter how tragic the last few years of her life were, she did more to revolutionise women's wrestling in four short years than anyone else had done since the WWE had decided that tits and ass was more important than in-ring ability. Which leads to the inevitable question, will China ever be inducted into the Hall of Fame? If you'd asked us this before 2019, then we would have said no. But the fact that China is already in there as part of DX must mean that it's only a matter of time before the WWE does the right thing and allows her to stand alone as an inductee. If Triple H wants to prove to the world that WWE really is under new management, then what better way to announce the first entrant into the class of 2024 as his one-time partner both on and off screen, the ninth wonder of the world, China. The fans want it, the wrestlers want it. Make it happen, Triple H. It truly is what's best for business.